Hi, I'm Peter Steve. And I'm Daniel Gill. And you are watching This Week in Mount Athletics. Once again, I'm graduate student Peter Steve. I'm sophomore Daniel Gill. We are members of the Mount St. Mary's men's soccer team and your host for the week. We'd like to welcome everyone to the ninth edition of This Week in Mount Athletics presented by The Carriage House. So Peter, how about that storm that just rolled through? Yeah, Hurricane Sandy was pretty rough, but much rougher in other areas. Everyone here at Mount Athletics hopes that our friends, family, and others stay safe through these tough times. That's right. So Peter, what did you do when the power was out at the Mount? Uh, we didn't have any lights at my place, so we just built a fort, had a candle around in the center, and just hung out, I guess. Yeah, well, me and my friends, we only had one light in the hall, so we invited the girls over and played some card games. I'm sure you did. All right, now, let's get this show started with some highlights from this weekend of play. Both cross-country teams are at Bryant this weekend for NEC championships. I'm going to let you run with this one, Daniel. I hope I can finish on time. Both men's and women's cross country teams finished sixth at the NEC Championships on Saturday. Sophomore Tommy Groschow finished second in the event. The highest finish since Daniel Kinua in 1998 won the event. Senior Chris Swisco finished tenth to join Groschow with all NEC honors. For the, win for the women, sophomore Mackenzie Doyle paced the mount, just missing all NEC honors, finishing in 15th place. Fellow sophomore Megan Schott finished ninth. So how about we stay here at Waldron Family Stadium now, Daniel? All right, I think I can handle this one too. The men's soccer team defeated Robert Morris 2-0 on Friday night. Freshman Dylan Johnson scored his first two collegiate goals in the game and route to being named the NEC Rookie of the Week. Johnson scored unassisted in the first half and then found the twine off the helper by junior Kudrow Conlon in the second half. Graduate student and my co-host, Peter Steve, had seven saves, giving him his third clean sheet of the year. That goalie sure knows how to get the job done, eh, Peter? Now, Daniel, come on, you know it was an overall team victory. I couldn't do it all by myself. And I guess even you had a part in it. Yeah, but I mean, come on, admit, you had a good game. It was a great game for everyone on the team. Okay, Mr. Modest, let's stay right here and talk about the women's soccer games this week. Let's see if Peter can save this highlight. The women's soccer team lost both of their matches here at Waldron Family Stadium here this weekend. They lost a hard-fought battle on Friday against Bryant as they lost one nothing in overtime. Freshman goalie Vicky Kokoza led the way with three saves. They then hosted Monmouth on Sunday for Senior Day as they honored seniors Kelly Baker, Andrea Boisich, and Carly Deegan. The Mount dropped their final game of the season 2-0. You know soccer wasn't the only sport in action at home this week. That's right. The women's swimming team made a, a splash here in Emmitsburg as they hosted VMI and McDaniel College. Let the viewers back home know what happened, Daniel. The women's swimming team hosted their first meet of the season as they defeated VMI 183-59 to and McDaniel College 152-108. to Both junior Kat Coppler and sophomore Aaron Reagan won three events while junior Molly Walsh won the 53 and freshman Caitlin Powell won the 800. The Mount men's golf team concluded the fall slate. You think you can swing this one, Daniel? I'm just gonna tap it in. Just tap it in. Tap, tap, tap for it. The Mount Men's golf team finished 26th overall at the Wendy's Kiowa Classic. Sophomore Ryan Triller finished 33rd overall. Triller finished 16 strokes behind the medalists. This event concluded the men's fall season. And now it is time to announce the Mount Athlete of the Week. And we would like to congratulate Tommy Gershaw of the Mount Men's Cross Country Team. As you heard earlier, Gershaw finished second at the NEC Cross Country Championships on Saturday to earn all NEC honors. Gershaw notched the best finish in program history since Daniel basketball team will be having their annual blue and white scrimmage and also a pep rally. Let's see what senior Raven Barber freshman Jody Cheeky have to say about that. So Raven, why do you have your face painted white and blue? Because I have so much school spirit, that's why. How about you? Me too. What are you doing this Thursday? Well, the men's basketball team will be playing the blue white scrimmage from 5 to 6. So will the women's basketball team and both teams will be available to talk to the fans during that time. And don't forget that from 7 to 8.30 on Thursday, the Mount will be holding a pep rally for the basketball teams. 
How could I forget? I am bursting with blue excitement. I just hope that everyone comes to the Ark tomorrow for all this fun. <laughs> yeah, because if not, then I might be actually blue emotionally. That won't happen because we know that the Mount fans are excited for another great basketball season. So do you think it will be mayhem on Thursday? I think that will be mayhem. Might be on display on Thursday, but it's up to the fans to come out to see how much mayhem there will be. <laughs> great point. Hope to see, see you Thursday. Thursday. Go, Go Mount. Mount. Say, Jordy, do you have any more blue face paint? I think I want to go as Papa Smurf for Halloween. Uh, but I was going to go have a Smurfette, so that would be kind of awkward. Only one team will be in action this weekend. That's right, and that will be, that will be you, me, and the rest of the men's soccer team. Let's see what the Diargo twins have to say about it. Hi, I'm Joshua Diargo, and I am a member of the Mount St. Mary's men's soccer team. Wait a second, Dom. Why are you pretending to be me for this promo? I'm just working on my acting skills. Besides, no one was going to know until you came into the picture. Mom, for one. You really think that she is going to watch this? Besides, we haven't fooled her before. Let's not get that into that right now. Maybe we should do what we're asked to do. What's that? Remind everyone that we are playing our home, final home game on Friday at Walter Family Stadium. That's right. We are playing Sacred Heart at 4 p.m. on Friday. We, we have had great fan support throughout the season. And we hope that everyone will come out one last time to help us against the Pioneers. And now that Sandy is gone, it should be a great day for soccer. I'm just glad the power came back on. Me too. Once again, I'm Dom Diargo. Oh, now you're trying to be me? Because everyone knows that I am Dom Diargo. And I'm Josh Diargo. Hope to see you on Friday. Go Mount! Remember that you can get all of your Mount Athletics news at mountathletics.com. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram by searching for Mount Athletics. You can also like us on Facebook by texting like Mount Athletics to 32665. Don't forget that the next time you're at Waldron Family Stadium to enter our Twit Pick of the Day contest, all you have to do is take a picture of the action and tweet at Mount Athletics. And if your picture is chosen as a pick of the day, you can win a cool Mount Athletics prize. Don't delay and show your Mount prize today. And remember that there is a chance to win a cool Mount Athletics prize in every This Week in Mount Athletics episode presented by The Carriage House. Once again, I'm Daniel Gill. And I'm Peter Steve. And this, this was, was This Week in Mount Athletics. Mount Athletics.